Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Our second in the Chasing 900 series, the back nine here at Churchville, Millbrook Park. Uh, it's a short 54, par 54 course. We have to hit five under to get to 908 rated. And right now we're at two under. So let's see what we can do in this back nine. So we're here at hole 10, 251 feet. It's a big hook to the right, just inside the wood line. Here's my walker here. Let's see how close we can get. Sawed it off. Oh, that was ugly. All right. Long putt for bird. Let's go see if we can get it. What is it about me leaving myself these long 60, 50, 60, 70 footers for bird? I got to start getting closer to the basket. Oh, I, although I am getting good at them. <laughs> Almost made that one. Let's go tap it in for the par. See, here's the thing about these types of courses. There's, there's really no room for error. No room to make up ground, right? At least with par fours, you have some room to wiggle to be able to save birdie. With these... Your T drive has to be precise, or you're really not landing the birdie. So, to if I want to challenge myself to get better, this is, is where I need to come to practice my 250 range into the pin. This is where I'm going to get better. So, pushing myself like this, I, I, I'm I'm liking this. I don't think I'm scoring as well as I should, but we always want to be better than we are, right? But uh, let's just keep driving on on to hole 11. All right, hole number 11, uh, 296 foot uh, up and to the left. Everything in me is screaming to forehand this. So I'm going to use my Mad Cat. There's a, there's a small gap here to put something straight through and then have it hyzer at the end. So let's see if we can do it. Skip. All right, that's short, but I hit my line again, so I'm happy with that. Another 50 footer here, but it's uphill, so I'm I'm assuming this will putt more like 70. Just spin it and get it up there. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. Tap this in for the par. Move on to hole 12. Still two under. Let's go. All right, nice 170 footer straight ahead of the tee box, but we have so much stuff in our way. Uh, I need to get it to the right a little bit with a forehand and let it come back to the left. Nice little touch shot here. Just hit the gap. Oh. Behind a big tree. Turn that one over a little bit too much, but what are you going to do? All right, we're going to do this just so you can see the basket and my disc, because if I put you straight behind me, you wouldn't be able to see the basket. So we're going to do a high, really big hyzer. See if we can just get this in there. Did it stay? No, it dribbled out. All right, we'll tap that in for the par, move on. Just in case the tree was blocking your vision, I hit the basket and it dumped out right here. So we're just gonna grab this real quick, dump it in the basket, move on to 13. All right, 224 feet straight ahead, but I have to put it to the right and let it fade a little bit. I'm gonna do a BB6 turnover here. See if we can just fade it, fade it in down there. Pick your gap and hit it. Fade. Fade. It'll be a long putt. It's not turning over. I think I'm babying it too much. So there's a difference between not throwing hard and babying your shot, right? So I tell my softball players, throw it soft, 
but don't sacrifice your form. And I think that's what I'm doing when I'm trying to throw it soft and sacrificing my form. So don't sacrifice your form, just slow up your arm speed. All right, so I wanna show you. So there's my disc, there's the basket. So I have maybe a three, two and a half, two and a half foot gap to put it through. I'm gonna put you over here just so you can see me putt and the basket at the same time. Sorry, I'm in the midst of adjusting so you don't feel too crooked. This should be interesting. So this is in my stance. So I learned last time, thank you, Brandon, that even if it protrudes in front of your lie, if it's in back of your lie at all, you can move it. Mm. Oh, and we did it. Yes, rang that up for the bird. All right, let's move on to 14. Yeah, 14. All right, so it's a, what, 200, 206 foot uh, forehand hyzer shot. So again, the flag is just offset left of the tee box uh, to the left. Got to throw it right, nice little hyzer gap. So I'm going to throw a forehand, my midi here. Pick the line, get it there. Get around that. Eh, long putt, we should be able to make that. Wow, my forehand must be a lot weaker than I think. Also, feel something pulling in my calf right about now. Don't get old, it's terrible. I need to stretch more. All right, so we have a one, two, three, four, 25 footer here for the birdie. Take your time, make the putt. Oh. Hmm. We'll tap that in for the par. Yeah, those are the opportunities that you can't miss. 25 footers need to be put in. Sorry, my water bottle opened. 25 footers need to be put in. All right, on to hole 15. Got two strokes we need to make up, let's do it. All right, hole 15 is a nice little chip shot up around the corner, forehand, really downhill, 222 feet if I haven't said that. Horny toad, chip shot around the corner. Pick your line, hit it, get to the basket. That should be it. That should be right next to the basket. Okay, let's go. All right, just long of the basket, not too bad. I like that. Gave it a shot to go in. All right. That should be four under. Heading into, what, 16? Let's get it. All right. 248 foot straight, dead straight. So... I need something to drift a little left and then finish to the right. I'm gonna throw my BB6 again. Again, hit your line, trust your throw, don't baby it. Do your warm ups. Just hit your line. Get around. Now fade. All right, maybe a 35 footer. For birdie gonna put you behind the basket because there's not a lot of room behind me so one two three. oh a little over 20 feet so maybe like a 23 footer 24 footer again take your time make the putt All right, let's push on. Come on. We're at five under right now. That's our goal. But man, I I'd like to do better than that. Let's do it. 
222 footer uh, to the left here. You should be able to see it straight up through there. Uh, I'm again. Yeah, I'm gonna forehand my midi. It, it's got to have a sharp. Oh, is there a backhand, left-handed route here? Ah, uh, now we're going forehand. Sorry if I'm out of frame. No, that, there's a sneaky left-hander gap here, but it's really short. I mean, I guess if I run up off the tee. Ugh, now, now we're going forehand route. Sorry. Okay, so forehand up through here with my midi. Want to aim for that big dark tree right in front of me. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I aimed for it, and I hit it. All right, let's go get it. All right, a little bonus footage. I, I just want to see what this backhand left-hander line is, if I can hit it. I want to go up and see where that landed. So we'll see where that landed, but I'm playing the midi, which is to the right. All right, use my Artemis here. Nice long throw-in opportunity, maybe. A lot of stuff in my way, though, so. Ooh, that was long. <laughs> Let's go get it. So I'm looking around for my horny fro horny toad. I don't see it. Oh, we'll try to find it. Uh, I gave myself a, like a 15 footer here. That's the perils of trying to run something. You leave yourself a longer comebacker. I mean, this should be makeable, which is why we practice at home, right? So if we run them, we're comfortable in 18 foot, 20 foot ranges. Let me find my horny toad, and then we'll uh, see how close I was with that backhand left-hand line. Where did it go? Should have wrapped around right here. Should have wrapped around right here. Weird. Yeah, I'm still rolling. Still looking for it. Did it roll? Did it hit and roll somewhere? Or did I hit something short? Yep, I did. I hit something way short. So you can't see me because I'm off camera, but I'm about... Here, let me show you. So there's the basket. We're behind it. I'll put an arrow over top of it, but it's right in front of that skinny tree right in front of you. So, not the greatest lines. I think the forehand line there is the best. Let's move on to 18. In subsequent rounds, I found that that backhand line is actually far superior. Uh, I parked that hole multiple times after this using the backhand line. So that's the line I'm going to be using moving forward. All right, here we are. Last hole, hole 18. Sorry if I'm not in the frame again. I have it turned around. I don't know. Do you like this camera better? Maybe I'll turn it around for the next shot and see if the quality is better. Um, anyway, it's right out in the open. There's no excuse for me bogeying this hole, but you think 204 feet wide out, right out in the open, this should be easy birdie, right? For some reason, the elevation here is extremely deceiving. It's much more uphill than you think. <laughs> so I'm going to use my midi. We'll try to hoist it up there. This should be a putter shot, right? But uh, no, it's not. Just get my line. Take your warm-ups. Don't rush your shot, right? That's been working. <sighs> oh, go in, please. Whew. Okay. Well, that's a long birdie putt, but uh, a birdie putt nonetheless. All right, here we go, 20-footer. Uh, again, I've putt this whole round with the Artemis. I don't typically putt with the Artemis, but... Uh, Lone Star people, who does anybody putt with this? I've, I've kind of liked it. I'm not going to change, I don't think, from the Benny, but. All right, there we have it. Uh, that should be six under here at Millbrook Shorts, red to red. Uh, and by my calculation, that should be a 922 rated round. So check our second one off the list of our chasing 900, and I'm two for two now. 
which makes me feel good about myself. I mean, I definitely played this round better. Not perfect. There's some things I can clean up for sure. But uh, thanks for the tips and the comments uh, to help me out. I think they actually, they, they, they really work. Not actually work, but not that I'm surprised. I have some smart people watching me, but they really worked. Um, so thanks for those. Keep them coming. If you see something stupid that I'm doing that I need to, be, to, need to know about and to change, just let me know. I got, I got thick skin, right? I, I want criticism. I want helpful, helpful criticism to help me along this journey. So anyway, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment below uh, what else you want to see as far as content is concerned, and, and I'll try to bring the best that I can. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.